Hello again. So this tutorial is for people who have low bandwidth or limited bandwidth uh, with their ISP or a Wi-Fi signal that they're attached to. So before we begin, I would like to give you a brief description of what accelerated internet is. Long story short, when you go to a website, it goes from your computer to your ISP, your internet service provider, and then it grabs the data off of the server through a DNS. Uh, accelerated internet basically has a server between you and the page being loaded or the content being loaded, and it compresses anything it can and then sends it your way. So this was, this was used a lot in the uh, dial-up days. So before we continue, things that it does compress, it can compress HTML and Java-based web pages. It can compress text. It can compress JPEG and GIF-based graphics. Now, it does compress PNG. It does compress others, um, but those are the most common. And it can compress actual email themselves. What is not compressed? Streaming media, so YouTube, Hulu, anything of that nature, does not get compressed. The good news about that, though, is most of those services allow you to adjust the quality. So, for instance, if you're on YouTube and you have a really terrible internet connection, you can set it to 360p or 144p. Even Hulu has a low bandwidth setting. Uh, secure web pages, meaning they don't allow you to modify it any way, shape, or form. Uh, this is to secure the data itself. So, for instance, if you're going to a bank website or PayPal, uh, generally will not compress it. Music and photos sent by email. This is a message being sent by somebody else and you're receiving it so they can't compress it. And downloads themselves. So, to get this for free, I used to use, some, I used to use the Opera browser to do this for free. They took away the desktop version, but it still works on mobile. So what I suggest is actually downloading a Android emulator like BlueStacks and then loading Opera on that emulator. Now I chose BlueStacks because it's the most popular. If you are going to use this for a low bandwidth scenario, I highly suggest you download it somewhere else because it is about half a gig. So once you have BlueStacks installed and your account set up, you literally just go ahead and search Opera. Opera with AI, boom, let's go. Again, this is something you might want to set up prior to being in a low bandwidth scenario, so, or slow internet, I should say. And it's good to have this on your system, so if you run into a situation where you have slow internet, you can give this a try. Now, you can go in the full screen mode. I'm not going to go in the full screen mode because I want you guys to be able to see the webcam still. I don't know if that'll knock it out or not. Okay, so we're in the Opera browser. Okay, so data saving is off currently. We want to turn data saving on because that is the compression. That Opera has their own servers that will compress the data for you. Okay, so once you're set up, go ahead and click on your icon here. Make sure data saving is on. So let's go ahead and uh, visit some web pages here. Sorry, not used to this keyboard. Okay, so you notice the M in front of the web page. That is the mobile version of the site. And the good thing about this is usually mobile sites are set up to be less heavy on the system and less and use less bandwidth. So already you're saving by going to the mobile version of the site versus the desktop version of the site. And let's just search cat video. Okay, so as you can see, things are loading. Let's go to Imgur real quick. No. Okay, let's go to Imgur real quick. Sorry, top bar. And again, it should bring us to the mobile version of the site. Okay, so it should be compressing this data. 
And we can check that in just a second here. And you know what, just for the sake of argument, let's go directly to Google Images. Cat funny, why not? Okay, so now that we've loaded three web pages, let's see how much data we actually saved. Okay, so far we've saved one, one and a half megabytes. Awesome. And let's see here, just because it's old, it's an old site, let's see what it does. Okay, let's go to Yahoo. Let's go to some of the old school sites that probably use old code that can get compressed pretty easily. Okay, so we're loading images, loading images, compressing images. No, I don't want to sign up, forget that. What about Facebook? Again, you got the M there, so it's the mobile site. Okay, let's see what we have. I'm trying to recall how to just get it to pop up. Let's see here. But uh, Okay, two and a half. So the more you use it, the more data you're going to save. And like I said, since it's using the mobile site, it's gonna load faster. So this is really great if you have slow internet or limited bandwidth. For instance, I think Comcast is like a terabyte. You get only a terabyte. Or if you're using a hotspot on your phone, you can actually use, obviously you can use Opera on your phone and use the data saving feature to save data bandwidth and make things go a little faster. Now the downside to this is certain sites have different functionality from the mobile site. Um, the workaround for that is when you're using BlueStacks on a desktop, you can actually download the app itself. Like you can download the Facebook app itself or the Instagram app itself and actually work on the app via your desktop or laptop. And that's pretty much it for this. Um, I hope this saves you some data and speeds up your internet. Have a great one.